Hey guys, uh, just doing a kind of an informational video about um, vacuum tubes for anyone who's kind of new to working on this stuff. Uh, generally, there are different, you know, there are different types of vacuum tubes. And depending on what you're likely to be working on, you'll want to keep that in mind when you're purchasing vacuum tubes. This particular box is about 100 vacuum tubes I got for $50 in a bulk lot, kind of like a grab bag of sorts. On eBay, they were not tested. Uh, they are mostly not duplicates, uh, just very, mostly American-made tubes. These are mostly used. But when you're working on these and you don't have a tube tester, you can at least test for the filament uh, continuity, the continuity meter, by connecting it to the appropriate two pins that are connected to the heater. That way you'll know if it'll light up. The emissions, though, are going to be another story. And there are going to be different types of vacuum tubes depending on your application. Now, there are vacuum tubes that are still made, but it's primarily in Eastern Europe and uh, China. There is no uh, vacuum tubes being made in America anymore, but that will change pretty soon, I suspect, because of the Western Electric plant that's going to be built. So I can't remember what state it was. It was somewhere in the south they're going to build one making 300 bees. And this was a well-known audio tube that's very much in demand. There's a lot of people who are guitar amp enthusiasts or audio enthusiasts who like the tube sound. So that's why there is a market for those in particular still. In my case, though, I'm primarily interested in not necessarily only the audio vacuum tubes, but also ones for TVs, including color demodulation and color circuits and vertical and horizontal. And unfortunately... With horizontal output tubes, to my knowledge, I don't think they make any anymore, and certainly not more notable ones like the 6LF6, or in this case, the 6KD6. Now, this one is uh, the one I pulled out of the Ford Philco. It is completely went to air. It is bad, and you know, because the getters are just gone, and on this side, it just was arcing and left this horrible burn mark, uh, and then there's the top here. When you're working on these TVs, do not mess around with this especially when it's on because you will get a nasty uh, zap. Um, a lot of voltage is going through these tubes. That's why they tend to be the most likely to go on these TVs. And unfortunately, I am a ham radio operator, but but as I realized, a lot of these tubes were very popular for use by ham radio operators for their high-powered HF amplifiers. So that's how I knew about that, and I was wondering, as well as some CB radio operators who are transmitting more power than they should, but another story. You should straighten the pens, clean the pens, and if you have the patience and time, you might want to test to see if the filament works because uh, that's pretty important. All right, um, so I'll do a video update a little bit later with the Zenith. See you guys.